Hey everybody, back to uh, the bank holiday break. Just breaking some random packs sent very kindly by uh, For the Walkers. Let's start here with all new Series 2 The Elvis Collection. The cards are his long. We've only really got one of these. So let's have a look. This must have been a big set because this is 244. Wasteland Tour. All of these have uh, loads of writing on the back of them. It's 1956 in the temper. 489 that card is. God, this must have been huge. Five hundred and fifty-eight. <laughs> Six hundred and twenty-eight. How many of them were there? Take forever to complete a set. Stay away, Joe. That's one of his films. Oh, the early days. <laughs> An early date in nineteen forty-seven. Twelve. That's another movie's one. The trouble with girls and how to get into it. Um, oh, that looks like a private aeroplane or something, yeah. Uh, what's this? Truth about Elvis Presley. I don't know. Ed Sullivan show, possibly. And then. I'm not quite sure what that's made out of. Wow, as a floral guitar sent to him by a fan, apparently. And then at the back, special offer <gasps> life size Elvis wall poster. <laughs> the deluxe Elvis collection album kit. That must have been a huge folder given how many cards are in there. Oh, that was interesting. Uh, next up, I've got three packets of something called Creator's Universe. So, let's have a look at this. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, these are very stuck. Uh, unfortunately, these are very, very stuck together. That's a shame. Let's just see if I can. Those are very, very, very stuck together. Ah, damn. Oh, there we go. Oh, that seems to be fun. Oh, it's got one on it. Maxim. No idea. Absolutely none. But on the back, it's got quite a cool hologram on it. Yeah, these are not going to be good, I'm afraid. There's absolutely no way I can separate these. H. Well, it would have been. Somebody called Phaedra. <laughs> no idea at all. Trash can man Joe. No idea. Let's rip through these. Literally rip through these because they ain't coming apart. Ouch. Oh, that's really, really, really screwed up. Now that those are way too stuck together for me to think about it. So let me move on. That looks really bad. Look like at those cards sticking together. Lucky okay, break. Pretty much ruined by that. Yeah, these are bad as well. That's a shame. If there was anything interesting in these, um, unfortunately, it's going to be ruined by the time I've finished. But these were a gift. So. Heretic. They're very fluffy, these cards. Eater. In vertigo rather than vertigo. Aquan. I'm assuming this is some sort of like, oh god, these are really bad. Um, this is some sort of like comic strip or some characters or something that I've never heard of in my life. Strange Hands. I think I'd have heard of them. Need to warm, wouldn't you? And Ark. Right. Okay. I see I'm going to be just as bad, unfortunately. Look. Weasel. Ooh, ouch. 
Simsy and Huge. I can't believe I've never heard of any of these. Oh, do you know, I think this might be a foil one and it's going to be stuck. Forgive me just for a second, I know it's bad television, but I just want to see. I can unseparate. Please unseparate. Separate. They're already unseparated. I know you want to. Like putting these in the freezer sometimes helps. I don't know how true that is. No, I've not really got away with it. Yeah, it's an insert FF1. Somebody called Civil. The front of it's fine. I had this with the classic ones. The front of it's fine. Um, the back of it, unfortunately. As you can see, there was some damage there. That's a real pity. American flag. It looks like American dad. Is that? Is there some sort of uh, reference there? And then the righteous. And another one behind it, which is just, you know, just really badly stuck. Body blade. Well, that's a pity because I've, even though I've never heard of any of these, um, we did get an insert there. Something called civil. Civil. And the front of it's absolutely fine. The back of it isn't, but the front of it's absolutely fine. So, oh, well, never mind. Right, next thing. Something called Deathmate. Deathmate? No idea. Special insert set featuring light effects technology. Oh well, I like showing things. Let's have a look. Right, so that means nothing to me whatsoever. I'm assuming this is another cartoon of some description. I call it cartoon, sorry. Should be probably calling it graphic novels or so, I don't know, whatever the hell you call it. This means nothing to me. So let's look for a shiny one. I'm pleased to say that these are not stuck together. This depends on the. There seems to be a, been a, um, a, a compound of some sort used around the mid 90s which sticks to itself. Some cards do, some don't. Um, yeah, weird. I don't know why that is. These are from exactly the same year as the other ones were, but these are fine. Okay. I'm not detecting anything shiny here. Although that one looks, you know, have not. Weird looking bloke in a red mask. Oh, go on, give me a shiny one, please. Um, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> it's quite nicely designed cards, but they're um, completely. Passes me by the way, so please. All thing ain't looking too good, folks. So. That's a pity. Hmm. Could have got something typical. My shiny one was in the bloody pack that stuck together. Typical. Oh well, whatever the hell they are. If you want them, let me know. Um, what else we've got here? Right, I'm going to do one more. This is the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles by Proset. Three cards per pack plus three activity cards. That either means the cards do something. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Um, or uh, I'm going to have a quiz or something on the back of this. Okay, these are not stuck together, incidentally. Right, what have we got here? I don't know if I've ever seen the young Indiana Jones. If I have, I don't remember. I've seen the young Sherlock Holmes. I think that was a cracking film. The stained glass window chasing him around. So, let's it. I'm not a huge fan of Indiana Jones anyway, so I can't imagine I would have watched the... Uh, the young ones or any spin offs of it or anything like that. Woman in a hat is as much as that means to me. I don't even know who played young Indiana Jones. Nor is it going to tell me what lots of things. Oh. Right, that's some really pots. But the reason I'm making noises is because this next one's in 3D. No way. Oh, it so is. Right, let's just have a look at this first. Help young Indy find the hidden, hidden treasure. See card back for the treasure checklist. Okay. Well, that opens out. Alright, oh, okay. <laughs> that opens out into a London bus. How random is that? Hmm. 
Okay, right. Don't quite know what to make of that. Um, but then, these two cards, I have got to view young Indiana Jones 3D dimensionally, sorry, three dimensionally, pull out the young indie 3D viewer from the card pack, and punch out eye holes at the perforation. Oh wow, 3D cards, that's, a, that's quite um, topical, isn't it? So that's the glasses, and there's the card itself, which you'll probably be able to see a bit blurry. 3D cards. Wow. Well, there you go, in light of Avatar and Toy Story 3D and everything. How strange. Okay. Well, there's a few more for you. Come back for the final three. And hit the thumb, just for the fact that that had a 3D card in it.